Looks like a lot of it's been gutted too. Yeah. Look at that. The whole roof is just collapsing. Wow. Yeah, it's probably over there. The trees actually look, that area looks more uh, well kept. Oh, there's a van over there. Somebody just pulled up. Huh? We're looking for the grave site. John grave McCown? Site. Yeah. It used to be grave site. Oh, it's not there anymore? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is our last morning here in Savannah. Uh, we wanted to come check out pretty much one last thing. Might take a little bit of a drive through before we head on out. Um, but we are at a place called the Gingerbread House. It literally comes up on Google as the Gingerbread House. This old historic home that kind of looks like a gingerbread house. Pretty cool. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, not too shabby. That's so cool. I like the the circular things. I don't know what you would call that, but it's just such a very unique look. It's very, very shadowy over here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, are you guys ready to head to uh, Montgomery? Yeah, all the way to Alabama. Yeah, well, we got a couple spots that we could do along the way, a couple of yeah. uh, abandoned spots, so. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, um, and then we have a, a long drive. Today we've actually made it to uh, a somewhat historical property. It's not um, deemed as a historical house. It might actually get demolished, unfortunately. But the reason why I say it's historical is because it actually has some ties into um, the civil rights movement back in the day. We are down south, um, so we're going to be seeing quite a few things like this between the vlogs, between the main channel videos. This house was actually owned by an activist by the name of John McCown. He was very well known in the black community. He actually helped push forward a lot of uh, certain civil rights things, uh, which I'll obviously include some information on that. He did buy the house in 1967. The house was originally built uh, back in the like 19, I think it was 1915 to 1917, somewhere around that era. So it is very, very old. It's very decayed. It's actually falling apart, but it's also very, very cool looking. Um, it's very decayed inside, very dangerous. So we do got to watch where we step. This is probably going to be more of just an explore. Um, we don't know any haunted history about the place. Never been told about anything like that. But uh, yeah, enjoy. Smash the like button. And uh, let's get the adventure started. So, as you can see, um, we are in a very beautiful area. The house itself is quite the disaster. Well, I might actually have to turn my, turn my light on. This looks like it was the kitchen. So the cool thing is there's actually a grave of the activists in the back. Wow, you can tell how old this is. Look at look at the ceiling. Oh yeah, you're right. I never even noticed the ceiling. Right? This is cool too. Bookshelf. Yeah, everybody's got to be uh, really, really cautious as to where they step. I mean, you might be able to in like certain sides. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. May end up just uh, including this in a vlog if there's not enough content to make an entire video. Look at this. There's the uh, porch area. Wow. There's no way to walk up there? There's no way to walk up there? Like you can, just, like it's a little bit sketch. Yeah. Like I want to, but it's collapsing like oh. right there. Right? Yeah. yeah. We can see that from down <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Holy. It's still a really cool place. Though. It is. Yeah, there's another like back room over there too, but I don't think you can get to it. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, you could if you like walk along the side there. It's not even a far drop, really. Yeah. Because there's no basement to this house. I guess that's the advantages to the southern houses because <laughs> you know you can't fall into a basement. Even if you drop, you're not going that far. True. It probably will hurt though. <laughs> a little bit. Wow. 
we're at. Look at this. Cool fireplace. So there's actually a grave site. We'll try and go find it. Um, see if we can locate that. So unfortunately, we can't go upstairs though. I mean, you probably could, but no, that's too. just a little. <laughs> yeah, I, guess. I mean, you can check it out, huh? You can try. Well, I don't think you can walk on this. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Whoa. So it's funny because we're actually on our way to Alabama. Yeah, you literally can't even get back there. Gigantic hole in the ceiling. Oh. You kind of uh, showed up a little too late. Angela, do you want me to take a camera to show? Uh, yeah. You can honestly probably come where I am. If you can. I feel pretty safe right here. Want to step back a little? No. <laughs> no I'll come down. Yeah, I'll just take a quick peek. I mean, it doesn't look that terrible. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty much a mess up here. She's Looks like a lot of it's been gutted too. Yeah. Look at that. A whole roof is just collapsing. Oh. Wow. It must have been so pretty back then. Oh, I can imagine. Demolition by neglect, unfortunately. It looks like we might be the last ones to document this place too. Yeah. Well, I guess we can uh, go towards the porch area. I'm gonna get some cool shots, hopefully, of the front. Which, uh, at least on the outside, it looks looks pretty cool. Holy! Oh, this is cool. I'm over here. <laughs> oh my God, this is sick. Yeah, the outside's cool compared to Canada. This is uh, this is a real treat. Wow. Whoa. Jeez. I don't even know how we are going to get to the back. It's a little overgrown. Maybe down that side. So do they have uh, ticks over here in Georgia? Do? I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> I honestly have absolutely no idea. Uh, maybe back there somewhere? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so... I can't figure out where it is. Yo, do you see it? No. I'm looking, but I don't see anything. I think Chels might actually uh, be on the better side. Yeah? Maybe. Well, at least we get like a little bit of an adventure. <laughs> Going through uh, some of the bush. Where? I'm pretty sure it is. Well, at least there's a way to look inside from here. So, Chelsea and Wilmer are looking for the uh, burial site. There's a little bit of stuff back here, Not, nothing too crazy. What noise? It's like a woodpecker or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing, man. Shit. Could be grown over. What Maybe. What the sides over there? I don't know. Wish I knew. But I don't. That sun is so nice. 
Oh well, I don't know. It's probably like back there where those... Huh? It might actually be like over here. It's probably back where those trees are. So, I know it's either like right behind here or over there. That's my guess. I'm like 95% sure it's where those trees are. You want to walk through with me? Yeah. All right. What if it's over there, though? Where? We'll check here and maybe we Yeah. I can't um, imagine. I can't imagine. I don't know if I want to walk. All the way over there now. Yeah, I can't imagine why it would even be over there anyway. Yeah. Let's just try uh, this way. All right. Yeah, it's probably over there. The trees actually look, that area looks more uh, well kept. It's here somewhere, that's for sure. Oh, there's a van over there. Somebody just pulled up. Is it there though? What do we say? Just say we're taking photos, that's all. We're literally doing just that, right? We didn't see any no trespassing signs. Just keep recording. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. We're looking for the um, the grave site. Sorry? Couldn't hear ya. Huh? We're looking for the grave site. John grave McCown? Site. Yeah. It used to be the grave site. Oh, it's not there anymore? No. No? Oh. His wife died. I was here about a year and a half ago. Oh, okay, they moved it. Before she passed. Yeah. She made the determination mm -hmm. that John L. McCown grave site would move to where she was. Oh, okay. Do you know where that is by chance? She's buried over at Hickory Grove. Hickory Grove, okay. okay. Uh, I don't know. As far as I know, mm -hmm. I suppose that I don't know where they're open for. Uh, yeah. Guys. What organization y'all with? What organization? Huh? Uh, we just take photos of uh, just you, you interesting. Take photos. Yeah, oh. interesting places. We travel uh, around and take photos of interesting places. Uh, in a word, you have some historical interest. Yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I love history like this. It's, oh, it was just okay. so fascinating. I like. I really like the story, so I wanted uh, to yeah. check it out. We're heading to Montgomery, so we're going to see all the uh, Martin Luther King stuff tomorrow. Uh, and, it uh, is a fascinating story. It is, yes. <laughs> oh, so, John L. McCowan. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well, um, I'm very familiar with the story. Awesome. Is there anything uh, interesting that you could? Tell us, like, add to the no, story. Not, no, uh, <laughs> not really. I was an eyewitness okay. to it. Yeah. But I did do some historical work. Nice. Related to John L. McCowan. Cool. Years ago. Awesome. My goodness, that <laughs> must be about 40 some years now. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe more. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wrote a dissertation on John L. McCown. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh, as far as I know, uh, I know uh, some of the dissertation, though. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the University of Virginia would not allow anyone to have access to all of it. Mm-hmm. So I do understand that some people have gained access to it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Because I know, all I know, my dissertation is on, and on reserve at the University of Virginia. And they have ownership 
over it. Oh, okay. And so forth, I know. Very interesting. Uh-huh. All right, well, uh, thanks for the info. <laughs> uh-huh. We're going to be uh, heading out now, so. Uh, but as a John McCarty, he was an interesting fellow. Yeah, uh, I bet. <laughs> uh, the Cashley Farm right across the street there. Mm-hmm. You know that, right? The, which one? The Catfish Farm. Oh, the Catfish Farm. Uh, that was his too, or? Right under the uh, ownership. Mm-hmm. Oh, a fellow by the name of John, Johnny Thornton. Okay. Uh, no, uh, what, did, how did you guys come in? Um, from oh, the road? front, I think, yeah. Oh, oh, on the road? Uh, I, think, uh, I think we're, like, down there somewhere. Uh, yeah. yeah. Where the, uh... That think, road go right by the catfish farm, you all won't see it from the road. Oh, cool. Okay. okay. Nice. Cool. Uh-huh. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right, have a nice day. Okay. All right. Take care. See ya. <clears throat> Oh, well, that was interesting. <laughs> this he was nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. No gravesite anymore. <laughs> Dang. That sucks. Yeah. So from what I remember, I watched Steve's video and they the, the gravesite was here, but I don't know how long ago he came. Yeah. So, it's interesting that I didn't know that they moved the gravesite, but uh, it was worth a look, yeah, I guess. It still looks really cool from the outside. All right. Yeah. Neat, uh, neat farmhouse. Well, that was very interesting. Uh, we were going to be on our way to an abandoned hospital. There's supposed to be an abandoned hospital with everything left behind. We don't know um, what the situation is now, if they've cleared it out or anything like that. But last I saw, there was still everything in there. Um, so we're actually going to head over there and uh, I'm probably just going to include that footage as part of the vlog um, and then just probably add something else to it just because like the house itself wasn't too anything too crazy. It would have been cool to find the gravesite, but like we said, like, like he a said, year ago, or two years it would have been prime. yeah, what did he say? Hickory County? something like that right so i don't know if we're gonna be able to find it. it might be a little bit difficult but we'll see we'll do a little google search and see what comes up 